On Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70 year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti-Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed and the iMod is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team.
Chen, you there? Email Chen. You've done all you can here. I see. Going, Monroe. Sir, if I may, how was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Ms. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Hansen. Deck 4. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Ms. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Computer, reroute turbo lift to the bridge.
We responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Tuvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Firing phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Half shields are down, Captain. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Captain, I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spread. Torpedoes away. just happened. Captain, we seem to have been torn from normal space. I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Where are we? Apparently here, Captain. Sensors and most of Voyager's primary systems are offline. Until repairs are made, it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where here is. Captain's Log, Stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard, whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships, and exactly where we are. Hi, Captain. Oh. Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Balana seal that leak. Turbo lift controls malfunctioning. Initiate vocal command using manual Captain, interface. Captain, we're drifting. Attempting Deck to compensate 11. with maneuvering engineering. thrusters. Welcome to Voyager Elcar's menu system. Sir, here's the damage control progress for the aft side of the deck. Good. Who's fixing the data shunt here? Showers and Chell, sir. Good. And Renner's on the Jeffries tubes. This plasma relay. Field down. There's an override in the Jeffries tube just down that corridor.
Hey, Monroe. Looks like the explosion took out these two aft turbulence. Jeffrey's tubes are the only way down now. I was trying to clear the debris from this one when the EPS conduit's overloaded. Great. Well, the starboard side should be fine. This one's gonna take me all day to fix now. Almost had a clear, too. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up and find those terminals. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. I'm not sure how much time you've got left. Attention. Warp core breach imminent. Access denied. Monroe, I just remembered. You're going to need the access code to cut the power relays. Go to the access code station. Displaying power relay access code. Got it. Access granted. Power relays have been cut. Attention. Warp core breach in 30 seconds. Attention. This lift has malfunctioned. 20. Breach averted. Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Seal that leak. We need to get main power back online. Boric, give me a hand with the resonance cascade modulator. Your alignment. Oh. That isodyne array has to be modulated to exactly 4.7 microjoules. Yes, ma'am. Ensign Stats, is the coupling matrix back online yet? Just another couple of minutes, sir. How's it look, Justin? Not good. The whole intermix matrix is out of whack. Engineering to bridge. The leak's contained, but we've got some heavy damage here. I don't know how soon we'll get Warp Drive back online. Or if we'll get it back online. Make it a priority, Bolana. We're still trying to sort out our situation here. We don't know what we'll be up against. Torres. Problem? Torres. Problem? 
Intruder alert. All security and hazard team personnel to the loading dock. Deck 8, loading dock. Here, Monroe Taylor. Come on. If you need medical attention, just come back here. Monroe, over here. We're being invaded by some kind of pirates. They're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind a barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? You'll be fine. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with me. certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkana's gravity will. 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. 
While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismiss. for what you wish for, you just might get it. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. Chell? I sure hope they're right about that ship being abandoned. Telsia. Hey, Alex. Nervous about the mission? We'll do fine, I'm sure. Austin? I don't know, Alex. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission, too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> Tom. Good luck, Monroe. Excuse me. Hey, hey, Monroe, what's up? Mitch. Hey, Monroe. Good luck. I'm sure everything will go fine. Liz. Liz. I'm kind of busy, Monroe. Ms. Durant, while we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Of course. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. Doctor. Later, Ensign. Can't you see I'm busy? Gerard! I must say I was surprised that I was not selected for this mission. I know the ship is supposed to be deserted. I just hope they don't end up needing a medic. Oh, Michael. Yeah? Excuse me. Hey. Lithium crystals for a power source. Most ships use those crystals, so you should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. Be careful with those. If you want, you can test out your weapons in the holodeck here behind me.
Initiating program. High noon. Welcome to Voyager LCAR's menu system. Gathering. I was hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport Team Two. Energize. one here too. He's accessing it now.
Officer to Monroe. Are you all right? Yes, sir. They just stopped attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in Section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Watch it.
Let's go. Wait for me. This is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boo! Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Chow! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there were three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core, through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, my brother. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell, behind you! like another of those transporters over there. All right, let's go. Ah! No! What happened? 
happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We better get a move on, or we might be next. are on that upper level. But I think I found a security sequence for that door. Hold on. Got it. Come in! 
Windsor! Foster! They... They must have gotten them. <laughs> Not so good for our very first away mission, huh? Keep it together, Chell. It's just you and me now, and Voyager's depending on us to get this information back to them. If we fail, everyone on that ship could end up dead. Now let's go shut down that power core and get out of here. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll make it, Chell. We have to. Come on. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. I've got point. Looks like no one's home. For a change.
had to stay behind, but he's okay. What happened to your team? I thought you were all killed. Those alien things overwhelmed us, but I managed to get away. <laughs> pretty bad out there for a while, but we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, sir. I don't care if your hemorrhoids are chronic. There are no medical deferments. Chell? 
I'll be done soon, sir. Tom. Hmm. Looks like you guys took a little beating over there. Hey, Doc, want to take a look at Monroe? Just to pass the time Doctor? away. Ah, Ms. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Um, whatever. Hey. What? Want more cream? Tomographic scans indicate a possible neck injury. Cranial bruising. You're lucky you didn't get a concussion. Man, they sure knocked us around over there. What were those things? Wild burns. You'll need an anti-inflammatory agent for that muscle strain. I think I'll be all right, Alex. Deck 4, Hazard Operations. Betazoid on Vulcan, where any hint of emotion is frowned upon. Hey, Alex. Just come from sickbay? So, how's the Oralite cobbler? Delicious, thank you. Mr. Chen, your carnalip stew? Great, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Just because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Thank you, Neelix. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, Monroe. Austin. Austin. Alex. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Anson. I'm just a little busy right now. I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. Yeah. They messed us up pretty good. Well, that's not really fair. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? 
I heard Chakotay and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along in the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation? All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. With the information your team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. This is called the Forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing? Or why it's here? No. The Ethereans had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is Isodesium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Milana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is Isodesium nearby. Unfortunately, it's located here. What is that? The Scavenger's base of operations. These are the Scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. They survive by raiding other ships for supplies, like their attack on Voyager earlier. The Isodesium was most likely stolen from other ships. Looks like they used some of it, but most of it is scattered around their base. They probably don't know of its energy potential. It's imperative that we get the Isodesium and get Voyager functioning again. We don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here or what that forge has in store for us. Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, Human, Malon, and Hiroja. We're a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction plant. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the Isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good luck, team. Thank you, sir. Commander. If you need to discuss something, you can find me in my office later. We just finished replicating the new compound grenade. It's a stealth mission, but you never know what you're going to run into. The primary trigger launches a taser grenade. The secondary launches magnetic charges. You might want to test it out on the holodeck here first. Deck 10, shuttle bay. some trouble with the docking clamps, but I think Salman Lang are on it.
What's with that base? Looks like a scrap. Looks like it was thrown together from the remains of their ships, I guess. Yeah, I thought I saw a cavort class bird of prey in there. Yeah, Klingons. Yeah, what's with that anyway? I mean, are we allies with the Klingons? I heard Chakotay saying they didn't answer hails, but maybe they have no comm system. Anyway, they attacked us, so they must be hostile. Yeah, who knows how long they've been here. They might not even know we're allies. Right. Telsia. Sorry, Alex. Can Tom. we talk later? Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. Right. We don't want to activate the pattern enhancers until we're ready to move them out. Gotcha. We don't want anyone detecting us too soon. Equipment check complete, sir. Everything looks good. Excuse me. Can I help you? Sir. Return to your duties, Ensign. Hey. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. but there's a serious exhaust leak down here. I can't get to the overrides. Hey, Lens, can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe, you don't look busy. Get down below and see what you can do. We tried that. It's sealed from the inside. You'll have to go around. Seraton gas. It's got to be over 500 degrees. I don't think even your hazard suit can protect you from that kind of thing. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. show on the road. Tom Paris at your service. I will be your captain for this flight. I estimate a cruising speed of about two-thirds impulse power and an elapsed time of just under five minutes. All right, captain. We're all set here. Okay, all aboard.
This is your captain speaking. The in-flight movie will be Captain Proton vs. the Robo-Zombies. Thank you for flying Delta Flyer Airlines, and we hope you have a pleasant flight. Checking in. I'm in position. Odell checking in. I'm through the third airlock. All right, team. We'll be using a coded Federation subspace comm channel, but try to maintain comm silence unless absolutely necessary. When I give the signal, return here. We'll have pattern enhancers set up to beam us out. Try to alert you to any dangers we can detect. Careful, no running. Footsteps could alert the Cleons. Stay quiet. Watch it. There's a couple of life signs just ahead. Lean around the corner and check it out. Checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found some isodesium. This section looks male on in design. Rundown, lots of fog. Radiation levels are high. 
Roger. Foster out. Filthy creature! Checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found a sample of the Isodesium. Sir, this area looks like a Federation ship, early 23rd century. But I don't recognize these markings. This is not an archaeological expedition. Just this get the samples and get out. Roger, sir. Delcia out. That is why humans like it. Give up, intruder. Give up, intruder.
saboteurs. What? Why did you divert our power? We did not. Our whole section is on emergency lights. Bah! So much the better. Now you won't have to see each other's repugnant faces. <laughs> We're not leaving until you return power to our sector. This Patak must be hallucinating. I know what that word means. And what are you going to do? We outnumber you two to one. Ha! It would take 20 Maelon to equal one Klingon warrior. It is we who outnumber you two to one. That would be ten to one, Klingon wench. Ha! Stop! They might be telling the truth. Let's check it out. We're not leaving until you restore power. Monroe to Foster. I have the last sample of Isodesium. I'm on my way back. Hold on, Monroe. Odell hasn't reported back yet. We can't get any response from him. Can you go check it out? Yeah. I'm right by the entrance to the Malon area. Good. See if you can find Odell. But be careful. Foster out. Monroe to Ken. There's a security door at the Malon entrance. Roger. I'll see if I can override it from here. stealing their supplies. That wasn't us. Well, let's just keep waiting and see if they come. Fresh prey, I hear. Oh, 
over there! ambushed the weapon communicator taken never saw them save your strength Tom I'll beam you out of here Monroe to Foster I found Adele he's hurt bad I'm beaming him back to the extraction point with his isodesium understood Foster out Monroe wait I still have to get one more sample of the Isodesium. Don't worry, Tom. I'll get it. Be careful. Ambush. piece of isodesium. There's a huge bay between us. There's a crane system of some sort, but the control room is on the other side. Wait a second, Alex. I think I know where you are. I was just there. Hold on. Okay, I'm here. I see the controls. Give me just a second. Telsia, behind you! Take her alive! Welcome to Voyager Elcar's menu system.
This woman tried to steal some of our isodesium. She had a whole bag full of it. What? Where did she come from? Nobody knows. But Doc Kriegs got her down in sickbay for questioning. Okay, all set here. Great. Come on, Red. Let's get back to that converter those crinkleheads gave us. Hey, Spider. If you need us for anything, just call her. Yeah.
I don't know why they make us patrol all the time. It's not like the Malons would come back after what we did to them the last time. It's not the Malons the captain's worried about. It's those damn Klingons. <laughs> Shirts are so lazy. Yeah? Well, you red shirts think you run this shit. Watch your mouth. Watch your back. Hey. Impossible for me to get to her. Don't risk the mission, Monroe. If the odds are overwhelming, you're going to have to abort. Telsia knew what she was getting into. She wouldn't want you to get killed in some hopeless. Wait a second. I've got an idea. Monroe out. Get me some Veritrax 12 from the lab. It's the blue hypo spray. It's me, Alex. Thank God. Undo these restraints. The only way back to the extraction point is through the control center, and it's sure to be guarded. All right. Then you'll have to pretend to be my prisoner. Oh, come on, Monroe. That's the oldest one in the book. Any better suggestions? Okay, okay. Here, follow me. Passcode for the door. Give me a second. Four of them. Be ready. Where are you taking her? She's my prisoner. Why did you bring her here? I never told anyone to. Wait. Who are you? Men detain them both. <laughs>
trick is going to work this time. It didn't work the first time. I told you that was the oldest one in the book. Is that the only way back? The one and only. Okay, look, I've got an idea. I'll go out there and distract them. They shouldn't recognize me with this disguise on. At least, not right away. While they're distracted, you sneak out. Take all the Isodesium with you. But what if they realize you're not one of them? Are you sure that... I'll be fine. Trust me. Hey, Monroe. Last one there's a Denevian slime devil. Hey, what are you doing here? The captain sent me down to check things out. Really? I didn't hear anything from the captain about this. Oh. Yeah. The communications are out. He sent me down here to tell you in person. Tell us what. Uh, that I'm coming? I don't think I've seen you before. Ooh. All hands, red alert. There's an intruder disguised as one of us with a woman. They killed the captain. Capture them at all costs. Kill her! Give up, intruder! Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. code for the door. Give me a second. this time. It didn't work the first time. I told you that was the oldest one in the book. Is that the only way back? 
The one and only. Okay, look, I've got an idea. I'll go out there and distract them. They shouldn't recognize me with this disguise on. At least, not right away. While they're distracted, you sneak out. Take all the Isodesium with you. But what if they realize you're not one of them? Are you sure that... I'll be fine. Trust me. Hey, Monroe. Last one there's a Denevian slime devil. Hey, what are you doing here? The captain sent me down to check things out. Really? I didn't hear anything from the captain about this. Oh, yeah. The communications are out. He sent me down here to tell you in person. Tell us what. Uh, that I'm coming? I don't think I've seen you before. Who? All hands, red alert. There's an intruder disguised as one of us with a woman. They killed the captain. Capture them at all costs. Kill her! might be able to get a medic. No. You are the victor. May your hunts bring you great honor. Intruder! 
Welcome to Voyager LCAR's menu system. Open this door! Who's in there? You, cut this door down! Team, that's everyone. Let's get out of here. Activate the pattern enhancers. I've got the ISO DZ. He's dead. Monroe to Voyager. Four to beam back. Sir, two of them are wounded. It's Lathrop and Odell. Beam the wounded directly to sickbay. Where is Lieutenant Foster? Would you mind explaining exactly what happened? It... it was the Borg, sir. When we activated the pattern enhancers, they must have been able to beam in. They took Foster and the Isodesium. They caught us completely by surprise. They were in and out before we could even react. Ms. Murphy, you are dismissed. Could you not have prevented the Borg from taking the Isodesium? Sir, I didn't want to take the chance that I might hit Foster. That is a chance you should have taken, Ms. Monroe. What? There is such a thing as acceptable losses. Had you fired, it is likely that the Borg would not have the Isodesium we need. And Foster might be dead. Possibly. But your emotional decision may have cost the lives of every member of this crew. Perhaps next time, you will consider this. Prepare a full report. I will summon you when we determine what action to take. Logging.